guys. In student ministries this week, we talked about the idea of having peace with God. Having peace with God is something that can happen when we enter into a relationship with Him. It's something that's active. It's something that comes as we spend time pouring into our relationship with Him. We took a look at Romans chapter 5. Uh, we started at verse 1 and we went all the way through, I think it was 11. And in that, it talks all about like when we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And because of that, he gives us peace, peace with God. And we strongly believe that we can't experience the peace of God until we've experienced peace with God. This world will try and give us any sense of false security that it can, right? The, from a security system or a ring doorbell that you've got at your house, um, to just some sort of escapism, right? Going down the rabbit hole of Netflix or YouTube, right? Just distracting ourselves from what God has for us. And all of those things that the world tries to offer, they're not all bad things, but they aren't all great things. And they aren't the one thing that gives us true security like a shadow of the real thing that God offers to us. So here's our challenge this week. How can you gain more peace with God? Have you made peace with God? Is he your friend? Is he someone that you spend time with? Think about that. Pray about that. As you come to the end of this video, maybe take some time and just pause for five minutes and talk to God about what peace with God looks like. Have you surrendered to God? Have you given your life to him so you are at peace with him and you have that and that will give you more security than the most money in the bank account or the best security system or anything else that this world would try to offer you. Have a great week.